Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Friday the 3rd, and today was another gorgeous day outside. Absolutely beautiful, nice breeze, had some sunshine almost a day, a few clouds here and there, but it was beautiful. At, at one point it felt a little bit warm when you saw the sun, but not bad at all. Um, got up, um, just had some weird twist up drinks again, like I said, I've got some weird crap going through my head. And being unable to go run um, is really, really kind of taking a weight on me and that whatnot. So it's usually where I do my best thinking is while I'm on a long run. So especially when you get out in the super long miles and you start getting exhausted and your brain's just kind of wanting to be over with it, kind of clears itself of everything else but what you're thinking about. So been kind of dreading um, just the whole thought of trying to figure out different things without being able to run. It's something I got to figure out and work through. So went ahead, um, got this morning, got a couple things done. Um, decided I had to go get mowing pretty quick before it got warm, which didn't warm up as much as I thought it was going to. Went out, um, loaded up the lawnmower on the car trailer, which is still hooked to the truck. Haven't unhooked it. It's set in the back alley behind the couple of my properties. I've, there's a dead alley that's not really been closed off yet, but nobody uses this. It's just grass. It's not rocked. So legally, um, I can't park there because it's like grass, but it's legally still an alley so I could make the city rock if I wanted to and a whole bunch of crap there, but not something I'm doing the near behind me. We kind of split the alley and he don't care and I told him if he ever needs to move it, let me know, we'll move it out of the way. So it works out good for me. I've had boats back there stored, um, off-road, um, 4x4 rigs I've played with off-road and stuff. So <clears throat> at one point I think I had like six vehicles back there and I'm surprised nobody said shit, but nobody did. So went ahead, um, got the mower loaded up. I um, mowed a little bit right here at the property um, just because of the fact that my um, once I moved the truck and the trailer out of the way to load up the, tr the mower, I mow around where it would be. And then the rest of the trimming and my neighbor had mowed my um, the rental house to the north, the property there. He'd mowed most of it. So I finished up the parts he'd missed and the little tighter spots. He's not really you know, not really used to in the yard, so I went ahead and mowed that. Then I mowed all of this yard over here, the actual house I live in. I mowed it because it's got a lot of banks and stuff, a lot of hills, and he didn't want to mess with it. So got it all mowed up, went out and made one little loop around the front where he missed a couple of spots because he wasn't really just like trimming on the edge of the road and stuff. You're just not really used to where it's at. You don't want to fall your have your lawnmower fall off the edge of the driveway or the edge of the curb there. So went ahead, um, trimmed it up, load the mower up, went across town, mowed the empty lot I've got over there, um, got it all trimmed up and got it all mowed up and that. There's a few limbs that have fallen in the storms and stuff. And there's two giant um, branches that have broke out of the tree hanging way up top. I didn't have a long enough rope to throw up there to tie on to pull them down. So, and I also realized afterwards, I'm kind of glad I didn't because with my feet the way they are, I really wouldn't have the ability to, to sprint out of the way if I'd pulled it down on top of myself kind of thing. So I went ahead and uh, left a message for my uncle, asked him if he was next time he's in town, if he had some longer rope to basically if he could help pull those down whatever for me it'd be awesome so if that doesn't happen i might go back over there if i don't get up they're not down by I don't know, if i hear from him by sunday monday i'll probably just go take care of it i'll probably just take a heavy ass um like a softball or something tie the rope around it throw it up around it and pull it down even if i just hook it to like the lawnmower hook it to the back of my truck and pull it down that way it'll work too so got that yard mowed up came back um got the mower put away all that good stuff um, worked on a push mower that I ended up picking up that doesn't run. Um, Self-propelled. Uh, it's got some issues in it. I've got some parts ordered for it. Um, hopefully they'll be here and I can get that thing figured out and get it going. That'd be awesome if I can get that going. There's a um, giant gas-powered um, weed trimmer but like on the wheels that also um, haven't even touched it yet. I literally, all I did is unpack it, put it away and have it even touched. And then the motor pulls, it turns over, so I did try it before I even loaded it up, because the motor's locked up, wasn't worth even taking. So, went ahead, um, got that taken care of, got back in here, decided to go do my grocery shopping for today. It was so damn crazy busy. It's disgusting how busy it was. Um, ended up knocking out over a hundred bucks in groceries, but I bought a bunch of pork chops, a bunch of bratwurst. They're on sale, some crazy, crazy sales. And I'm getting over, it'd be $21.20 back in fuel. So. I got $21.20 coming back in gas on like a $109, $108 bill. So not too bad. Um, everything I bought, stuff I'm going to eat, stuff I'm going to need. So it wasn't like I was buying crap just to get free gas kind of thing. So definitely excited about getting 21 bucks in gas. You know, can't beat that at all. So went ahead, um, got that all figured out, and got back here. Did a handful of things around here just kind of off and on. I was up and about. Um, maybe a little too much walking around yesterday with my feet and the dog stomping on me and that. So I kind of tried to take it a little bit easier today because my plan tomorrow is to be in Tumwa all day. I was trying to make other plans to be down by the Kansas City area, but that shit fell through. So 
I'm going to probably just be in a tumble most of the day and I'm going to be sitting in more of like a lawn chair type position instead of the like feet up. So I don't have my feet up as much. So I'm kind of starting to not to walk around and play as much on my feet today. That way tomorrow I'm going to take the dog to the dog park. It's one of those different things I can do that's going to be much more helpful. And like I said, i got to figure out maybe some way of getting like a footstool or something up there to really prop my feet up. I might even swing by Menards or Kmart, whatever. they got some of those really nice lawn chairs that the big footrest built in. I have one somewhere out in the garage. I cannot find it. And I wasn't going to go digging around in the attic up there to try and figure out where it is. So went ahead and just kind of had to heck with it. And I'll just go buy a new one if I need to. I even thought about taking my hammock up there and get my feet really propped up high and really keep the pressure off my feet. But it's also, I need to figure out if I can have my feet down below me today because I got hopefully a trip um, down to Kansas City area to see my cousin, um, do some more stuff around their new house and I think the old house both. So I got to figure out if I can handle even three and a half hours or so in the car driving down with my feet below me. So that's going to be a big thing there and then get that all figured out. So Pretty much in that, watch some um, Orange New Black, um, watch some uh, Blacklist, a couple different different shows I watched. Watch a documentary. Um, I love documentaries. They're awesome. I forget about them once in a while, and then I'll get on a kick, and I'll watch 20 documentaries, and I won't watch one for four months. So I also found out the little interview I'd done with Bruce, I don't know, a month or two ago, or in heck it was, a long time ago. That finally aired today, which was really interesting because she promised me she was going to let me know before it aired so I could watch it, maybe record it kind of thing. And, of course... I wasn't told shit about it, so um, didn't get it recorded, but I did see it on the website, and I guess when it aired on the on the news itself, the website video was the same one that played on the radio, on the news, but I guess like some newscaster, somebody said they saw it, they said that they um, commentaried over it a lot more and differently, so who knows, um, turned out alright, it wasn't, um, I don't know, could have been better, could have been worse, so a bunch of stuff we put in there we didn't make the um, cut, but it's... We interviewed, you know, we were there for an hour, hour and a half like that, and it was, I don't know, like a two-minute, you know, five-minute thing, or probably five minutes like that. So, who knows? Uh, it'll be interesting to see if there's any, um, like, other people that see it and whatnot and stuff. So, it's hard telling, but that's pretty much my whole day. Um, nothing really major, I guess. So, except the fact, I guess, that interview finally popped up. Like I said, it's on the website, but I didn't get to hear the newscaster um, information about it. And there's funny, a few people that... Our friends and moms and stuff knew about it and contacted her. And they're like, oh, you got to watch it. It's coming back on at 10 and blah, blah, whatever. So it aired out twice in that. So we'll see what happens. So anyway, that's all I got for now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.